This video is for the guy that was asking if um, I did all this solder work with the HHO torch. Um, yes, I did, but I just made a discovery I wanted to share with everybody. Um, when you're soldering pieces that are big like this, it absorbs so much heat that uh, flame turns into water. You produce a significant amount of water so much that you cannot solder heavy duty pieces like this with the HHO torch. I had to bust out the butane on this one. Everything else, um, it's ideal to use um, solder, or I mean the HHO torch instead of uh, butane, because the flame's just so tiny, man. You can get in all these little spaces and all that, and it's just far better than a soldering iron. Because uh, when you do a lot of soldering uh, like this with a, a soldering iron, the tip just burns up so quick that it's just hard to get a good point on. And, I just don't like soldering irons for doing this kind of work with. A flame is better, it's hotter, it's quicker. The HHO flame is so small and powerful that you're in, you're out, and you don't damage the ambient surrounding. Um, the flame I use for soldering on the HHO torch is probably only about 6 millimeters or so. It's a real little, tiny little flame. Um, you can use a bigger flame. But it's just nice to have the pinpoint high temperature accuracy. But, uh, like I said, big heavy duty stuff like this, HHO sucks. Way too much water. Um, I'm not done with it yet. I got one more valve put on, the exhaust valve. Um, I'm working on the timing on uh, the intake valve here. Everything's going pretty good. I just wish I could have afforded bearings. Brass on brass is not good. Um, Still got to hook up the ignition system, and I got to do some work up top here. But other than that, I'll be done, hopefully tonight.